All right, so quick video to address some of the haters from the quote-unquote rogue Discord. Um, yeah, apparently the official rogue Discord. These guys have, they've always hated me. Okay, it all started back in, back in the early days of Classic when um, a person named Seven Leaves, who these guys are all part of the inner circle with that dude, uh, made this paid power leveling guide, which um, I used like the freebie version um, and it didn't work. It was, uh, it was very, it was scuffed as heck, right? And I happened to call it out. I was, I was dogging the guide on a live stream I did back in the day. And he was in the chat and him and his little cronies, they got all fucking bur butthurt, bleh, butthurt about it. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, at that point they like kicked me from the discord. Um, but you know, it's discord, it's whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's address some salt, shall we? Because there's a lot of it here. And, uh, you know, this is the uh, the Gold and Professions channel, right? In in the uh, the pin messages here, they've got, like, something about herbalism um, for Frostamus. And they have another video that is pretty much the video that I have. Um, not exactly, though. It was a video made in February. It's unlisted, so I can't really show, show it to you because, you know, YouTube uh, unlisted videos are supposed to, they're unlisted for a reason, right? Um, and then when I, uh, when I click the dude's profile to go to the business email, uh, you know, to, to see about maybe like showing it or something, it, it's an, it's an inactive Hotmail account, uh, from like 2013 or something. So yeah, that or just ignored. Who knows? I, I don't know, man. I, it's not my email. I have no clue. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's check out the salt in the discord here. So they're just talking about the, uh, as they usually do, they're talking about the BRD route because it's the most efficient gold farm in classic for rogues. And here, you know, they're just showing off things like he needs more keys, uh, 4,000, you know, uh, vaults open, whatever, right? Just usual crap. Here, this person shows off that Varric completely destroyed them, which I told you in my videos he does. He will absolutely obliterate you if you are not careful. Uh, you know, that's pretty normal stuff. And they're calling it the Nether Run because the person who made a, an unlisted video that has no... Uh, nothing prompting on the screen, no voice chat other than his, his, his breathing, uh, and keyboard sounds, that's it, it's just him playing the game, there's no commentary, there's no anything, there's no tutorial, there's no teaching, it's unlisted, um, has about 3,000 views, that's about how many people have viewed it on this Discord, it's a good amount for a 60-something subscriber channel, you know, but hey, it's unlisted, you know, he chose to keep it private for some reason, like he's hiding secrets, did only his little inner, inner circle want? I, I don't know, man. Uh, anyway, so let's let's get on with it here. Uh, they're just talking about specs and stuff. And then uh, here we go. Uh, you can also use the Oni book before you engage. Uh, that was yesterday at 9.41 p.m. Uh, the good old Giga Chad Perplex, of course, given, given the tips. And then here they talk about Barrel of Peasant Collar and Frost Reflector. Now, my gripe... Look, man, you can play the game however you want. If you have fun doing certain trinkets or specs or ways to fight things, hey, if, if, if it's what you like, do it. But my gripe with Frost Reflector is if for five seconds you reflect Frost Spells. Great, right? Um, the Frost Bolt hits for about 550 on average, I would say. That's only 550 damage. That's not a lot for a whole trinket slot uh, that offers nothing else. So I don't think the Reflectors are worth it on Stilgis. And then this person asked, does a skeleton stick with you if you swap the offhand out? If they had watched my video, they would know the answer to that. But again, uh, like, this person is a blue rank. This is a, what, a veteran rank or something? <laughs> like, up here with perplexity. And, and I don't know, man. I mean, I think they just gave that rank out, you know? I think they just gave that rank out, you know, just to their friends. It's, it's whatever, man. To the people that suck up and brown nose. All right, so here here we go. Swole Benji put out Nether's run on YouTube. Happy tongue face. Hope this doesn't drive up key prices. All right, so first thing is apparently it's his run. It's not public domain run. Uh, back in the earliest days, before YouTube was a thing, before, like, heck, Google Video, there was a German video maker who made a video guide about how to farm Scarlet Monastery where you can, Cathedral, you would sneak to the very back and you would open the secret passage and kill Fairbanks, and you would get three greens, and he taught that you can go in there, kill him, and disenchant his three greens. And it was 60 gold an hour. This was in 2004. So does anyone that, that ever runs Scarlet Monastery Cathedral and does the same thing, which you can't because it got patched out. He only drops one green, now he doesn't drop three. 
Um, is, is every run that shows that his run now? I'm just saying, like, dude, I could pull up an example of a YouTuber like Dave the Gamer who took all my Gold Farm videos and remade them in his own way, and that's completely fine. I Here's my analogy. Here's the way I think about that. Okay, let's say someone makes a pecan pie. All right? Now, let's say, you know, people, they're like, ooh, yay, pecan pie. I like pecan pie. I, I really don't, but... Um, now, let's say someone else makes a pecan pie in their own way. You know, they, they change the recipe a little bit. It's still a pecan pie. Oh, you made Betty's pecan pie? Oh, boo, boo. No. You know what I say to that? Hey, we got two pies. Hell yeah. Two pies are better than one. So that's my, that's my argument on that. Sure, he put it up first in a private unlisted video in a secret little Discord that you had to check a pinned message. Like, I, I never check this thing. I'm only here today because someone pinged my name, and I was like, what the fuck are they, what do they want? Are they starting shit again? And yes, they're starting shit. Uh, let's see. So, Chad, nice name, <laughs> feels like the key prices have went up, and they have. And that's part of my master plan, too, was um, <laughs> if I'm going to make a video on something, this is the, uh, the Mathil effect on Path of Exile. If you make, if Mathil makes a build in Path of Exile, anything that his build uses goes up in price. And I'm not saying I'm anywhere near Mathil's level at all. The dude is a, such a Chad. A Nordic, you know, Norse god, but holy shit. If I release a rug video and it has something to do with something, then the prices are going to go up. I'm sorry, I'm not going to not release it because the prices go up, dude. You should have a stock of keys on hand anyway. Like, just go farm them, man. Alright, so um, this guy's talking about Maelstrom and her Heroism proc. I use Maelstrom. I used Maelstrom in my video. That's the Dark Moon card that does 300-ish nature damage on random attack. It goes off anywhere from 2 to 4 times a fight, which is about 1,200 damage. I like it. I like it a lot. Heroism heals you 420. It doesn't proc as much. Um, and to me, I don't think Heroism is worth running. But hey, if you like self-healing, great, dude. And he's talking about, he's talking about uh, Demon Slaying. Uh, let's get to the salt, though. Uh, but first, this one, this guy says, hey, if you get up on this ledge, then Varric will kite around the corner here to fight you, and you could kite him indefinitely so you can bandage or, you know, pull your energy. While that's somewhat true, I did warn in my video, because I've had this happen multiple times. I don't, you, sh you can see my cursor, right? Ver like, let's say Varric's right here. He will run up on this ledge, but sometimes, not always, he will run on this part of the ledge, loop around here, and then come around. Now, when he loops around here, it's going to aggro the mobs in this room. It's happened to me many times, and that's why I didn't really recommend it in my video. I just mentioned it, that you could do it. You could take a risk if you're dying. But I, you know, it has a, it has a risk. All right, and now they're also talking about how... Um, you should take the shortcut, and that if you jump here, you can bug out the mobs and exit combat, and you don't have to use Vanish. I have two uh, arguments on that. The first one is, if you jump up here and there are caster mobs within line of sight of you, they will still shoot you with frost bolts and spells, and they will not leave combat. Um, also, based Russia, by the way. <laughs> you can see the, the Russian words. Very nice. Love Russia. Every Russian I've ever met has been based. But my other gripe is, um, on the shortcut route, um, yeah, you cheap shot the dog and you sprint, which you have to, you burn sprint. If you don't burn sprint, you're going to get frost bolted by one of the other trash mobs, because you're not just pulling a dog, you're pulling a whole pack of mobs. And if you get frost bolted, you're never going to, you're never going to make it to this ledge before they kill you. Unless you want to, like, burn evasion and then bunny hop backwards. So, yeah. So here, here's the first little bit of salt. So Swell Benji took the route, but made it inefficient. Okay, so I don't know how I made it inefficient. I took the route, and instead of putting a speedrunner, hyper-mega-autismal, you know, focus on having a special spec that didn't have improved gouge, by the way, um, <laughs> I took it and purposed it for all-around general use, because almost every rogue out there spends time during their week in a PvE combat raid spec. I, if you raid, if you do dungeons, you're in a combat PvE raid spec. So I made the video based around that. 
not a meme spec, not a PV, P spec, but an all around general spec that people use. So this guy, this guy here, this anti serum, he's a moderator, right? He's a moderator of this Discord. He, you know, the mods do it for free, clean it up, Jannies. Uh, you've all heard the saying. Um, and this guy's got a, a purple rank. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to bother to look it up, but it's, it's definitely a special rank. I, I just watched his video. He didn't even attribute it or anything, did he? Now, I, I did send an email. No, I didn't like a long time ago. I never got a word back. It's an unlisted video and YouTube. The rules for an unlisted video are don't don't be a jerk. Don't show off unlisted videos um, without permission. I'm a YouTube partner. I'm going to follow the rules on that. And so he's like, of course not. Uh, that's OK. Nether didn't attribute me to the uh, the plugger jump either. And that's fine. He doesn't have to. It's something in a video game. I didn't make the game like who cares? I don't really care. What a dick. This is called circle jerking. It's a little private community and they're going to circle jerk each other off. Who is Swole Benji? Never heard of him. Motherfucker, you know who I am. This guy fucking, he, look, look at this. This is, he knows who I am. Rogue YouTuber guy. Is he the guy that rips everything off the Rogue Discord? It's actually quite the other way around. All the stuff that I made ends up here. And then, um, as a matter of fact, some of the things in the pins have been repurposed. And that's totally fine. If you want to repurpose my content, go for it. If, it, if, you, if you make it better, hell yeah, that helps everybody. The more, the better, okay? Okay, and then he, he actually links my video, which is nice. I, I appreciate that. Let's, uh, what can I, I'll do, I'll do a wheelchair emoji. I don't know. <laughs> Swole so Benji is generally a dumb cunt with a crying face, so this makes sense. Oh, th again, th this guy, this handy, he's also a moderator. He is, he's part of the little seven leaves click. Right? The fuck am I watching? I blade flurry, but I stand back so I don't cleave the mob. I explained in the video, I guess he didn't have the volume on, but I blade flurry because that increases your auto attack attack speed, and you're gonna have it back on cooldown by the time you fight the next boss. And I stand back because I don't want to wake up the mob that I sapped or rocket helmeted, because if they crit you a bunch, you die. It also puts pressure on you if things don't go your way during the fight and you, you get a bunch of misses or you don't crit at all and the fight gets prolonged. So you, you don't want to fight that mob, sure. Um, in, um, uh, what is it? What's his fucking name? Nether, in his run, he has a specific spec that lets him kill the trash mobs most of the time. I'm sure maybe not every time. Maybe it is. I don't know. But... Farming the trash mobs is not what my video was about. I don't care about the trash mobs. It's like 10, 20 silver and some cloth. Maybe you'll get a green every once in a while, or maybe you'll get a, an Edge Master's hand guards. Who gives a shit, right? I'm, I'm just here to kill the bosses, loot the guaranteed shit, and move on. All right. So, Hasty Mage, another blue rank veteran, um, says, I can't watch his videos. Is he fucking moronic? Too much dumb 4chan attempts at humor. Excuse me, but um, I've been on 4chan since the beginning, since Moot linked 4chan on the Something Awful forums as an alternative to Something Awful. And before Something Awful, there was Albino Black Sheep. There was Fark. There was... Um, E-Bombs World really sucked. There was all those StarCraft forums, the Tribes forums, the Diablo V-Bulletin forums. There was all of those. Uh, YTMND was before 4chan. Uh, and that actually came back recently. Um, I can't get into my old account, though. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta send Max a message about that. But who cares? 4chan is a great place to post. I don't care what the, the news media says or what your SJW college student friends say about it. It's, it's a place that I feel at home with, and I love browsing poll and V and VG. Those are the main three boards that I look at, and... and it's like I feel at one with them. Like they are my family, and I am okay with that. And I'm sorry that you don't like 4chan, but oh, he goes to 4chan. He's an idiot. <laughs> Whatever, man. You're lost, dude. 18 minutes to do one run. Am I on crack? You might be because the run was actually 15 minutes, but I showed two examples of every fight. So maybe you just skipped around and didn't actually watch the video like Stay Safe did when he tried to dog one of my videos. Uh, and then here's Hanby. He he ats me, and I'm I'm busy watching Resident Evil Three because I'm not gonna fucking pay sixty dollars for a three hour game. And then I was gonna watch some Frank Hassel. Uh, 
<laughs> based Frank Hassel. Uh, okay, so then these guys are like, ooh, let's fight, ooh, 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 I can't, man, oh, okay, well, I wasn't, I'm making this video instead, because anything I post on this Discord, they, the mods just delete it, uh, oh, I, oh, I guess he beat me in an argument, <laughs> delete, heh, and then they'll just, like, kick me out, man, he even has a claw in his video, uh, what does my farming claw refuse to drop, does anyone know the general strat versus Velik and Stilgis, they're hard to kill, and you only get them when you're lucky with repost as well. Lucky for you, Sess. I made a video that you don't even need repost. And then he's like, watch another video. Again, they're all friends. They're going to recommend each other's videos. That's fine. It's whatever, dude. Blind Varric. So you're going to open with blind and not a stealth opener? Okay. Uh, apparently, I'm inefficient. Kick his first Frostbolt. That's fine. If he casts one, he usually does. Especially if you um, do it my way. But hey, that's whatever. And then run him into a corner. Okay, that's a lot of work to run him into a corner. I don't know if you tried to kite him mobs around in vanilla, but it's uh, or classic. It's kind of weird. But hey, if you do it and your server works, fine. One thing I've noticed with Fairlina and Scarum is the server the servers act really different when it comes to mobs. So maybe it works good on her his server. Um, it doesn't work so much on Scarum. And then do a one point kidney shot. Why? I I don't uh, whatever man. And move him around so his back is facing the wall. Now, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this tactic here, um, this is so that you don't have to use Sprint to break the Frost Nova. But at the same time of all this positioning, Varric is biting your asshole. Um, <laughs> uh, you're getting hit by staff attacks by Stilgis. And it's, it's, it's too much work. I like simple shit, man. Uh, I don't think this is more efficient. I think it's actually less efficient. But hey, that's my opinion. You know, whatever. Nether does it pretty sick, bro. Pretty sick from a one one video that's unlisted with no commentary and just mouth breathing into the mic. I should I should make a video where I just fucking breathe into the mic all day and uh, don't explain shit. Hey guys, oh, wait, nope, that's actually talking. I'm not even allowed to talk. Ne next video, no talking, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that that that's what these nerds want. So you know, <laughs> no, nah, I won't do that to you guys. I don't have frost reflect either, but just kick the frost bolts. Like, Frost Reflector works once, and then it's on cooldown. I don't think it's worth it. And then he says he cleaves them. That's fine. Do you prio killing still just yes? I explained that in my video, but this guy hasn't seen it, and that's okay. Do you bother with Crippling Poison? I personally don't, but if I absolutely need to, I'll swap to it. You might want to Crippling Poison on Pyro. So, I'm, I'm ass like, Pyro doesn't run away from you. Crippling Poison doesn't do anything in the fight. I'm assuming he means for the ads. If you, kill if you want to kill the ads in your farm, you can... I don't see the point. Like, if you just want to kill elites and adds, then just farm the bar mobs. Let's see. They're talking about gear now. He's tier 1 and tier 2 with Crow Blade and Scarlet Chris. Feels bad, man. Because uh, a lot of it has to do with weapons. Um, it's actually very hard to kill Stilgis and Varric with crappy weapons. It really is. But it's, it's possible, but it's not as laid back and easygoing. And he's like, I had to turn the video off. He's got like a, a Pepe laughing, right? And he's like, should be okay with that gear. And then they're talking about it a little bit more. It's extra clear time, but whatever. I've put off on lear learning Nether's path for so long. So have a lot of other people. I've had a lot of people talk to me about this. I didn't even know it existed because I don't really check this Discord. But they're like, hey, look at this. Uh, you should make a video on this, dude. Make a better video. And I'm like, well, okay, I guess. Um, I, I, I haven't farmed. I don't really need gold anymore. There's nothing left to buy in the game. I don't have alts. I mean, I want alts, but I'm too lazy to level an alt. Um, I, I did, and there, there's no one to gank on Scarum left, so the game, I just do it for you guys at this point, and, and I raid log. That's all I really fucking do. Watching Swole's vid made my brain smooth. Uses combat spec plus engineering items plus Oni book. This works for most people. He's saying this sarcastically, I'm assuming? Alright, so I've already broken this part down. Uses combat spec. Combat spec is what every rogue uses that does PvE dungeons and raids. If you are a rogue and you're using a hemo spec for your raid, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, your parses are garbage and you're just being dead weight to your team. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. And then engineering items, I'm sorry, you're a rogue and you don't have engineering? Is it your alt? Does your main have engineering? If your rogue is your alt, then why are you farming on your alt and not your main? Go blow stuff up on your mage or shoot Dire Maul with your hunter. What the fuck are you doing without engineering? 
And then the Oni book. That this one's understandable because not everyone has it. And that's fine. You don't need it. I didn't. I, I specifically said you don't need it. It just helps. And um, it's fun. It's something you don't see in videos. You don't see people using creative items in videos because most people are just zug zug fucking brained and NPC sheeple that follow the meta. That's what I hate about League of Legends. Like AD carry bottom with support. That's the meta. If you don't do that, you lose, or oh, you're getting reported. No, the game was more fun when I could go Garen, stack six fire fucking capes, and go bottom and kill everything. That's when the game was fun. That's when the game was worth playing. Um, why are you playing video games if you're just doing it like like it's a like it's a job or a or a, a duty that you have to uphold? I was a noob without the book, and I rolled a hundred on it. Well, I'm in a DKP guild, and I bid on it because no one wanted it. I don't use any engineering items. I can get it done in 10 to 11 minutes. Yeah, and I bet you probably suck on potions. Uh, probably use a bunch of vanishes and blind powders. Engineering is basically free to use once you have the item. It pays for itself, like, tenfold. I don't have to ever drink potions on Pyromancer. I don't ever have to vanish. Okay, maybe I might have to vanish sometimes if shit fucks up with the mind control cap or something, but vanish powder is 20 copper. Uh, blind powder is, on my server, it's like 4 gold stack, so 20 silver. That 20 silver adds up, bro. Okay, so, I don't know what's with rogue YouTubers and them taking one good piece of advice and making it bad. Hey, that's like your opinion, man. I think I took, you know, a concept which uh, Nether happened to make, you know, and, um... Improved upon it. And, oh, look, he's dogging Sarth? Like, Sarth telling everyone to use uh, limited and vulnerability potions. I hate people that abbreviate. Please spell out what you're saying. Because not everyone has your mentality. When I watch a YouTube video, and it's a mouth breather that doesn't explain anything, or someone that explains everything in an abbreviation, where they expect them, their viewers to be on the same level as them, it's like, bro... Travel 10 years in the future when you've long stopped playing and then try to pick up a game again and watch your old content. I know most of you guys didn't make content 10, 15 years ago. I did. And when I watch some of my old videos, I don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. All right. But you're dogging on Sarth. Sarth, is, he's got really good content. He deserves subscribers. And dare I say it, his PvE guides are way better than mine in far more detail. It's just that his thumbnails suck. Uh, shut up, Air Freshener. Uh, his thumbnails suck, and um, he does the whole webcam thing, which I guess that's fine if you want to show off your body. I try to, not to make my videos about my body, though, um, because then my 99% male demographic will drop down to like a 70% of 30% females, and that's a whole lot of trouble. We don't want that on this channel. He legit took Nether's route to YouTubeified it, which Nether route is on YouTube. And I, I get it, I, I'm doing the YouTube meta, that's fine, you know? Uh, if you don't like the YouTube meta, if you just want to listen to... <laughs> if, if that's all you want to listen to the whole time, then... <sighs> hey man, don't watch my shit. Whatever, man. And proceeded to make claims like 100 gold an hour. Well, guess what? Uh, not only does um, Nether claim 100 gold an hour, which it is 100 gold an hour, but I even show in the very first slide, which is the intro slide, that circles on the screen like 10 seconds into the video exactly how out of 100 runs it is calculated at 100 gold an hour um what do you want me to link spreadsheets too that can obviously be faked if i fucking wanted to do you want me to record 100 straight runs live stream every single 100 straight runs please don't say yes on that and and show you that way with timers and tickers and and stock exchange dudes you know with I don't, I don't know, man. It's 100 gold an hour. And even if it was like 99 gold an hour or 110 gold an hour, it's... Who gives a fuck, dude? It's gold per hour. It's a good farm. Fucking do it. Stop being a nitpicky little anime smug face. Gosh. Doesn't even know that you can distract the first dog after Pyromancer. I tried that. Okay, so here's the thing with that. If you have 5 out of 5 Master of Deception, or you're a Night Elf with 4 out of 5 Master of Deception, or you have the Stealth Boots, yes, you can distract the dog to face away and sneak by it. If the dog is slightly on the left side or the right side of the spawn, you can do it without it. Yes, you can do that. 
I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my video, or maybe I didn't mention the Master Deception part, but my video is based on having a combat raid spec, like almost all rogues do, who have no points in the Master of Deception. So, this... I get it, you're running the meme spec, it, it's, you know, you can do the skip, you can save a whole minute on walking, holy shit. You know what I do when I'm auto-walking to, um... To the vaults, I'm watching YouTube, I'm talking with my girlfriend, I'm maybe having a snack, getting a drink, having a stretch, watching the telly, whatever's on Netflix that my girlfriend's watching, maybe I'm browsing 4chan, <gasps> oh no 4chan, oh no, but he wants his audience to have a chill time. There's a little bit of context for this, when I say chill time, I don't want people to have to min-max and stress out about every little detail. At the same time, I don't want them to have to pause the video every second, put the video on 0.25 speed, and have to open Notepad and type down every single attack that I do, exactly how I do it. I have that information all up on the screen. I give them a route and a method that anyone can do, a skill-clicking downy can fucking do it, okay? Um, but hey... Do you keep watching those mouth-breathing videos that don't explain shit? And uh, I watched the Siljus and the Varric fight that Nether posted. He, he like, attacks Varric. He attacks Siljus, and he attacks Varric again, he goes back to Siljus again. Like, w as a rogue, when you swap targets, you lose your combo points. But I'm the inefficient one? Yeah, okay, bro. Yeah. And this is all one take. This is all one motherfucking take. It's 27 minutes long. That really turned me off, dude. Uh, crying baby. For this farm, you're going to need P3 weapons and engineering and only book and for a bulk pouch. I showed a very bad situation with Varric, which you showed your fucking self earlier. Remember that first picture that I pulled up where you got crit four fucking times and died? Well, guess what? With the Oni book, with the fur bulk pouch, with good gear and good positioning and gouge kiting, you don't fucking die. <laughs> Go figure. I gave a solution to your problem and you're bitching about it. He makes 100 plus gold an hour, but doesn't want to spend for respects. This can be a valid point. I'm a cheap ass. I'm a fucking stingy motherfucker. I don't spend money on shit in real life and in video games. Okay? Um, I don't own a phone. I haven't owned a phone in so goddamn long. Like, I've never ever had a, a, a smartphone because I don't want to pay the bill. I don't want to pay for the phone. I don't need it. I don't fucking need it. I don't need the respect to do this. Yeah, it takes me five extra minutes per run. Guess what? I'm multitasking and doing other shit while I do the run. Like, watch... Like, I'm gonna start watching Konosuba soon. Um, it looks funny, I guess. And, you know, it seems like a cool anime. Um, with Nether's Route, I don't think I would have time to look away from the screen. Yeah, it saves you five minutes. That shit adds up. You easily make your money back. It's all good. It's not for me. And hey, maybe you like respecting 100 gold. It's like those people that buy Starbucks every day. People that buy Starbucks every day, they spend, f what, five bucks on a drink once a day times 365 times 10 years. That's a lot of money. The game's been out for seven months. If you respect 100 gold, well, that's two respects, uh, 100 gold a week for, let's say, four weeks a month times seven, 2,800 gold, I think. I did the math on that. Maybe it's a little less, but you get the point. You're spending a lot of gold on, on what? To save five minutes? Yeah, five minutes times that many fucking runs. Obviously, someone showed a picture where they did 350 uh, runs, uh, and they said they do that every week. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Well, guess what? I don't do that many runs. I barely play World of Warcraft. I do a lot of other shit when I play. Maybe I'll flip on the auction house, which is where the real money's at, not farming like a slave. Uh, oh, you want a video on flipping? Maybe one day, dude. Man, this video's getting kind of long. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't like respecting unless I really have to or if I'm doing PvP, okay? Uh, you do you, I'll do me. But I gave a solution for also people that don't want to respect because I don't think everyone wants to spend 100 gold a week or has the time for it. If I worked a real-life job, which I used to work a real-life job, working 12 hours a day, I had to drive 2 hours of work, 2 hours back from home, 2 hours at the gym, 2 hours to cook, 2 hours to clean, like 4 hours of sleep. Bro, I ain't got time to farm 100 extra gold a week just to be able to do a dungeon 5 minutes fucking faster however many times I may be able to get to do it in my small amount of free time that I had. Obviously now I don't do that, but 
My guides are for the general public, not for the super autismal basement dwellers. Which, apparently, you guys are, and you're making fun... Not you, exactly, but making fun of 4 chainers Of all the people. They're your bros. Anyway. Uh, I think that's pretty much it on the salt. Let's see. See, yeah, he doesn't like the slow stealth speed. I, I feel that. It, it kind of sucks to stealth really slowly, especially when you've been specced into faster stealth, but... I mostly do raids, so the stealth you don't really stealth in raids anyway, except for like suppression room. Whatever, man. He's talking about dying to Varric. crits four times the road happens, and then this guy's saying he's uh, he's never used Nether spec, but he's done it as combat swords the whole time, without engineering or books. You don't need it; it just helps. It just makes it easier, makes it less stressful. It just makes it more smooth, more just simple, man. And then he, this, the same guy that's been hating on me, he's going with heroism. Um, heroism heals you for 120 per proc. Uh, Hand of Justice doubles your attack, which if you're blade flurrying, you know, doubles that again. So let's say I, I white damage for 500 crit. Or let's say 300 damage. Let's make it simple. Just white damage for 300. Hand of Justice procs, that's another 300. It gets blade flurried over to the next target, and that's 600 extra damage. Let's see, 600 extra damage is two autos at 2.8 attack speed, you know, that's like 7 seconds, right? 120 health is one-fourth of what a mob auto attacks you for, a boss. So, and they attack every two seconds. So that, that's like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 seconds saved if you heal that. I don't see how that's efficient. You're the guy calling me efficient, inefficient. I think you're pretty fucking inefficient, but hey... You do you, man. If you want to look at your combat log and you just get fucking rock hard at seeing heroism scrolling combat text to heal you for 120 and those fat fucking dodges, then you wear your, your AV trinket, dude. You fucking AV trinket. Uh, I don't think I've got to that, but down here they talk about wearing, yeah, heroism reflector and AV trinket. That's not, that's not efficient. Look, man, if you want to play that way and you like using those and you see success in using those, then use them. Whatever makes you happy, bro. I don't, but you're calling me inefficient and you're using those. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Anyway, this has been a long fucking video. It's going to take forever to render. It's just me talking uh, and showing off the really shitty Discord. If you want to see a good Discord, come to my Discord. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at that cock juicer. Look at that. Mm. Mm, we got some spicy trolling vids on Twitch. Uh, lots of fun discussion. Look at this. Look, look at this. Okay. I'll edit that out. Uh, that was a little not safe for work. Uh, I'm going to edit that out. Um, but uh, here on the Rogue, look, look at this. I got a whole Rogue fact. Um, real good talents. All nice and organized. Macros, add-ons, professions. <laughs> explain the hit cap. The real strategies on what to do on bosses. Hey, the 40 to 60 leveling guide? Look at it, it's right here! Oh my god, it's right here in the Discord, guys! Wow! Come check it out! I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe I'll explain how to do um, flipping for the Arcanums, which is a really good way to make profit. And when AQ comes out, the Arcanums are going to be super juicy profit. Okay, see you guys later. As always, be a bro, stay swole, avoid the Rogue Discord. And uh, anyone watching from the Rogue Discord, when I get kicked or banned, um, all I can say is I told you so.